week, but it's the first day of a new month, April the 1st. And I'm really happy to welcome you to a new trading month, April, and unfortunately, the last trading day for this week. So you can hear it's a little bit better. I am on my way to recover from this coronavirus. Um, and I guess, and I hope so next week, it's going to be uh, much better. And I want to say thank you for your understanding for this week. It was a rough week. And uh, yeah, let's see if it's going to be better next week. I will take the weekend to take a little bit of rest. <clears throat> So um, I hope you're doing better than me <laughs> and you have a great night and a good night and a great start into this new trading day and the last business and maybe working day for this week. And uh, we stream this show now live on YouTube. You'll find a button in the right corner. You can subscribe this channel so you will never miss an episode because you get a notification if there's something new. You can give us a like if you want, thumb up or thumb down, whatever you think is good. Then, or you can leave a comment now in the chat and of course in uh, below this video too. Okay, so let me share my screen. If Nastia give me the right, I can say in the meantime, here we go. So Janusz on YouTube, good morning. Marcus of Afshin, all your elections. Sigurds, good morning. So let's see. Now I can. Thank you very much. <coughs> so who is with me this morning on Zoom also? Tina, good morning. Janusz, <coughs> Chiseng, Igoris, good morning. Jens, Petya. Good morning and Hartmut also. So you can see in my screen right now, we have new trade days. Volatility is back. Get up to 3000 euro cashback trading with Admirals available for trade MT4 or MT5 live accounts. No demo accounts, live accounts. So in case you want to have money back from Admirals, good idea to open a right now a new trading account and uh, maybe this could be really cool rudolf good morning and who is on youtube ute good morning mihai anka wonderful good morning too so let me uh, see the global market updates roman good morning thanks for being here i'm on my way to recover kurt good morning so the top news this morning, China tech stocks fall further after U.S. regulators flag their list, delisting risk. Then Japan manufacturing sentiment worsens for first time in seven years. That's really interesting. And from yesterday, Royal Bank of Canada, Dubai, Bruin Dolphin for 2.1 billion. This is an update. And the upcoming events today, you know, tomorrow, today is a very important day because today we expect at 2.30 this afternoon, the U.S. Employment Report. Plumman, good morning. Mike, good morning from Uganda. Back to Uganda here from deep, deep Germany. Okay. And the rest is just already over. We expect at 11 o'clock the flash estimate euro area inflation U.S. Employment Report and the ISM Report on Business at 4 o'clock. So be careful with your trades in DAX 10 minutes, for example, in day trading, whatever you do, please be very, very important about the U.S. Employment Report this afternoon. Let you, um, If you want to become very well informed, then it's a good idea to follow our Admiral's uh, channel of te in Telegram. We have this uh, 744 subscribers now, and there you have a lot of information, interesting content like um, bull and pair power indicators, for example, then the links to all the news and um, something like this. So it's a really good idea. If you have Telegram on your screen or money on your phone, then you can follow the channel Admirals too. In case you are more a fan of Twitter, then of course you can follow the Twitter account Admirals Global. Here we go. And Daytrader70 
is my name there. Okay, so let's go to the charts. And look at this one. <laughs> what should I say? I told you, right? We are going back to the point of control. And in this case, not exactly, but come on, guys, we missed the point of control, I guess, five points roundabout. Who cares? But the way was really clear from extreme price zone back to the fair price. This is what prices do uh, in trading, especially all prices around the world. It's about a volume. It's about of extreme, too expensive, too cheap, and back to normal price. Yeah. Uh, up to the moment when the market decides, okay, we have another price as our normal price. But then you can see when they grow up the volume on another price zone. Yeah, this is really, really Frankie. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm feeling just a little bit better today and I will use the weekend to recover. Okay, but you see, this is another proof that what I'm talking to you is um, pure logic. You know, we talk about pure logic. And this is price. So what's what did I do? Yeah, I did it. You know, I opened the trade in a second trend arm again. So and we reached almost the point of control. So I trade my stop loss and I got out, get out this morning. So actually, I um, didn't open a trade yet. We are still in the first, second. That's the third trend arm. Yeah. And uh, if you want to open a trade in the third trend arm, then you have to be careful about how deep is the correction going. So actually, we have a correction at 61. That's cool, which means rule number three is fulfilled, which means we can open. Um, we can open a position here above this point two. No. Sorry, unemployment rate today. I don't open a trading index 10 minutes today. No, this is too much stress for today. I guess this morning we will play kind of rumors and this is high volatility. And then over the lunch, I'm not in my office. And so we are within the red zone. We are at the point of control. We expect the rate, uh, we expect the unemployment rates this afternoon. So the good thing is that I can give my the permission to myself in this special situations to say, okay, I have cool trades. I have a wonderful trading week. I just make winners. I have a bit winners this week. And at the end, it was a index trading. It was a winner week. And why should I destroy now this about just uh, uh, maybe we could make money in this high volatility. So I didn't do this and I don't care about it. It's just up to me. If you want, it's about the rules. Yeah, but there are overall rules. And if I have this important numbers like rate decisions and unemployment report, I don't make any kind of day trading. All the other trades in four hourly chart, who cares? Um, that I don't care about this, but not in day trading. Hmm? Okay, so <clears throat> let's go to the top instruments. And top instruments, we start with um, DAX 40, uh, sorry, Dow Jones. And in Dow Jones, we are going back into the correction. So, and nothing changed, by the way, in Dow. We just have this trend. So that was the trend. And here we go. And we're going back a little bit to the point of control. And now one, two, three in the fourth trend arm. And what I can see here on the right side of the chart is kind of a new downtrend. It's this one. But, you know, today, unemployment rate, I don't open a trade today, um, not in this case. Then let's see um, DEX 40 in four hourly chart. Yeah, still an uptrend, point of control is still on the upper side. 
And here we are in the correction too. One, two, three, four. Okay. But also on the right side, we can see this one. Mm, that's the second trend arm. So mm, we should be prepared in case that the price will go down. But also the same uh, unemployment rate today. I don't open a new trade in the indices today. Uh, maybe in the afternoon when everything is over, but not yet. So next one, top instrument is Bitcoin. And uh, in Bitcoin, we have a profitable trade, you know, because uh, we are a little bit back in the correction, but that's cool. And we need a correction, you know, because every correction brings new buyers into the market. But now we have to be a bit carefully because um, we can see there is a new downtrend as a correction. So the correction is running in an own downtrend. So, and here we can wait for the next correction. Maybe we going, uh, we hit uh, from the lower side at the point of control, and then we extend the correction because, you know, we have a lot of space to go down. Yeah, we have a lot of space for the correction because the point of point three is here on the lower side. Okay. So that's Bitcoin. Then uh, gold price. So here we go. And gold. <clears throat> yeah. I still have a pending order because uh, we have a broken uptrend but the downtrend is still valid. So now we have, we saw a little bit increasing prices and the last three periods were kind of weak. So, but today also um, we expect the uh, unemployment rate. So we have high volatility, could be high volatility and therefore I don't open a trade today again. So just wait uh, until the moment all numbers are over Press conferences are over and market is going to be more calm again and comes back to normal business. And then we can see how we can analyze our charts. So, and finally, it's uh, Euro USD. And as you know, the point of control is on the upper side here at 113.20. And in Euro USD, we have an open trade, actually kind of 40 pips in profit. Stop loss is in profit already. Euro comes back very sharply this morning. So let's see if we get out or not. It was a chance and uh, we trailed the stop loss into the profit. So it's fine. The correction goes really deep for the moment, which means if the price will get us, get me out, uh, and by the way, the point, uh, the trend will break down at 1089. So we have a lot of space. And if we have a new balance candle in case we get out and we have a new balance candle, then I open the trade again because going back to the point of control. So this was five top instruments. And before we come to your questions and to your uh, proposals, I want to ask you the Friday questions. And this is very personally did you reach your goals this week? So by the way, I did. Did you too? Yes, finally I did. No, I did not. I had no goals this week. So feel free to make your choice. So let me see. I have some um, interesting questions on YouTube. Let's start here with Marcus, Euro Canadian dollar. Um, Euro Canadian dollar, it's this one. So, yeah, here could be indeed. So, look at where we are. We are deep in the lower price zone. I have it on my watch list too. By the way, it could be really interesting because that was the first trend arm, and now there was a second arm that was another trend continuation. Here, we are still in a second trend arm. So if there were a cure a balance candle today, yeah, then maybe it could be interesting. 
yeah so then let's go up it's a good thing very well done uh, for the watch list um the euro australian dollar same mm. no no it's not it's not no it's not a valid trend it's not no so what's next let's see uh australian canadian dollar uh australian canada we have an open trade we will uh have a look right later australian swiss franc um the long trend is over and the short just waiting for a deeper correction it's a little bit rough to open the trade there but there were two balance candle which means that was a correction now another white candle and another blue candle could be interesting to open a position um, on the way down but if then i would open the sell position here in case the price will go down to the point of control there is the point of control so um this is this one and there was another one i saw ah oil and natural gas so then let's see so that's oil Hmm, it's going down. So in four hourly chart, the point of control is 71, almost 72. Yeah, on the right side of the chart, there is a big downtrend. This one, move, correction, move, correction, big correction, and basically back to the point of control and here to a smaller trend smaller trend this one there was a perfect entry or here at the point two also or maybe here so it's possible yeah if you trade it um in daily chart or in forward chart there was the chance already you should, you should be in yeah in daily chart let's see in daily chart Yeah, it's still an uptrend and no valid downtrend. So for up, it's nothing to do. It's an old trend. And for down, there is no trend. That's really simple. And then you want to know about natural gas. Of course, natural gas. Let's see. If we have energies, natural gas, here we go. Let's see. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, point of control in daily chart is on the lower side, 269. Um, I guess the trend is broken. So that was first one. Second, let's see. Yes, there's a break, which means there's a new one. One, two. Oh, perfect entry there. It's too late. Three and four. So for me, in natural gas, there is nothing to do. It's too late. Too late. No trading idea for me there. Can you take a look at DEX40 daily? Of course we can. Um, DEX40 daily. Yeah, basically it's interesting, you know, we reached a point of control at 13,239. And basically it's still a downtrend. So it's this one, move, correction, 
and we are basically in a big second trend arm, a big second trend arm. And on the right side of the chart, there is a kind of, uh, let's see, yes, it's a, it's a trend, uptrend, a correction is running an uptrend. But it's uh, not that easy because we are circling around the fair price zone. So the main trend is still facing downwards for me, actually not really something to do. So um, that was your questions. Now we come to the running trades to manage our trades. And the first one is Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. And we opened the trade yesterday about the second trend arm, which is a part of the main trend. And the main trend is also in a second trend arm. And now we are circling around the point of high. So we opened and price is circling around my entry. And actually there is nothing to do. We were a little bit in, in profit. We were in, pro in loss also. And now we're circling around the entry. So actually just wait, there is nothing to do. Bitcoin we talked about, Canadian dollar, Swiss franc. We see that we uh, have a kind of stabilizing here at the point of um, uh, my last point three, there's my purple line. This is a signal for my mental stop. But now we have a downtrend too. <clears throat> and the correction is running. And here we go, that's a balance candle. And maybe this balance candle uh, is over. We can think about a short position at the last point two here of this possible downtrend too. So keep an eye on it for today. Euro Japanese yen, there is no contrary trend. The uptrend is still valid, so there is nothing to do. Euro New Zealand dollar is a new one. We are circling around the entry here. There is nothing to do. Euro US dollar, I talked about already. British pound US dollar, uh, the price will not go up. That's a little bit stupid, but uh, maybe the unemployment rate will bring a little bit more volatility today. We have to be careful because it's the second trend arm of a downtrend too. Yeah, so we let's see what happens today. Gold is clear, New Zealand Canadian dollar. Um, now we have a downtrend again. Is this one? <clears throat> exactly at the point of control. And now we were in a correction again, second trend arm. But now you can see actually on the right side of the chart, the price is going up a little bit so and we are circling exactly at the point of control this is such a, a rough situation and um, yeah, just watch it a little bit because we, we have a long position new zealand swiss franc um, yeah there was already a second trend arm uh, we are circling around uh, actually there was a close uh, below my purple line which means um, I trail my hard stop now closer to this candles here, to the low of this candles. Come on. Here we go. What's up? Okay, so there's my stop loss right now. And last one is US dollar Japanese yen. Yeah, that's not a downtrend. It's still the uptrend. And you see, mm, dollar is increasing today a little bit again. And uh, actually, there is nothing to do. So there's another one. It's uh, your Merck share today. You know, you open the trade there maybe. And actually, it's not really a trend continuation right now. So, But maybe you can trail your stop into the profit zone or you can trail it bar by bar. And everything is fine. So in any case, it should be a winner, especially you are at the point of control. So don't risk too much. If you have a winner, trail the stop loss into profit, everything is fine. Because if the prices were going down again, there's no trend continuation, we can do it again. 
on my watch list. Uh, oh, not longer. <laughs> it's your Swiss franc. So first of all, we have still the uptrend. And there's still a pending order in case the price will go up. But now uh, I had also a pending order in case that we continue the trend to the lower side. So um, now I'm a little bit in loss, as you can see. So in case you missed it, it's a possibility to open a trade at the point two there. But also should be placed a pending order at the on the way up because the main trend is facing upwards. And I must be prepared on both sides. Okay, then coffee is not longer. Actually, the pending order is still there because you know everything can happen. The downtrend is still valid and in Arabica also. And uh, actually we see the trend will break here up uh, at this point and we are going into the correction again, just waiting for the next balance candle. Uh, actually, but you can leave the order also in case the price will jumping down very quick. Then we have to prepare uh, for this situation. So my question for you today, and we are just in time today. And my question for you today was really simple. Um, did you reach your goals this week? So we had for exactly the same, 43% yes, I finally did. And uh, 43 said, no, I did not. 14% says I had no goals this week. So uh, if you reach your goals this week, make a note why. What did you change to the previous weeks? Did you change something or not? Or do you on track to become more disciplined, to become more stable in your trading? Uh, it's a good thing to make a note in your handwritten diary that you always can have a look back where you come from. It's always a kind of motivation to see and to watch your own progress in trading. The same is don't be worried if you didn't reach your goals this week. It's no problem, but you should know why. To ignore it, it's maybe not the best idea. So, uh, because if you ignore it, you will never reach any goals, not, in, not only in trading, in your life too. So it's always a good thing to make uh, a note. Why? What's the reason why? Is it a lack of discipline? Uh, if it's a lack of trend drawing? If you're missing signals? Uh, maybe you choose the wrong time frame. There must be a reason why you said, I haven't reached my goals this week. There must be a reason. So make a note and then figure out how you can solve this situation. How can you can solve these problems? So if you want to become successful on the long run, then you have to work on it. So if trading just a kind of gambling for you, who cares? You can do whatever you want. But in case you want to be a part of the 5% of professional traders around the world, then you need to figure out where are your, where you're struggling with trading, figure it out. So this is what I have to say. Why is coffee still going higher? Do we expect a downward trend soon? So this is an interesting question. And one minute I have to run. Why is coffee still going higher? This question shows me that you have a big lack of understanding of pure logic because there's only exactly why. I give the question to you guys in the chat, type in the chat. Why is coffee still going higher? Why? There's one reason. Why? There is a specific reason you can explain. There is one reason. Oh, is it about the harvest? Oh, is it about the war? Or is it about high energy prices? Whatever. Why is coffee going higher? If you're long enough a part of this show, then you know there's just only one answer. Why is the price going higher? Where does trading starts and ends in the order book. So why is the price going higher? Because we have more buyers. 
do you will know the reason why, then you have to call every single buyer. Is this possible? You can try it. Call the stock exchange, call the future of the uh, coffee buyers, call the future in Chicago and ask why. You know the answer? Click beep, 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 beep. That's the answer. So you ask the wrong question. The question must be, what do I have to do? And the answer is, wait for your signal. That's all. But the answer is always the same. We have more buyers, but you will never find out the reason why. Afterwards, maybe you can interpret the reason. But if there would be a specific reason, then you will find it in the order book. Is there a column you can type in your name or your the reason why? No. Who cares? No one cares. So you have to learn to ask the right questions. Also, the same question, going to all-time high. Who cares? Why do you want to know this? You have to work with probabilities, guys. As long as you ask such questions. By the way, I'm grateful for this and I can explain it. But as long as you ask those questions, you will never become successful because you ask the wrong questions. And now you can lose your money with guessing in the market. Or you can take the money and make a proper education. This is what you can do. I wish you a wonderful weekend. Thanks for listening. Thanks for those interesting questions. Um, and I hope we see each other next week again. Same time, same place. Have a nice weekend. Have courage and be kind. And may the forest of the rules be with you. See you tomorrow. <laughs>